How are you going? Welcome back to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech, and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I film on, the Wajit people. Now, at the beginning of this video, you saw me open a big box with two boxes in it. And if you were here last week, you would have seen me open the uh, uh, other pair of boots that I got from Parkhurst from the recent drop uh, a few weeks ago now, uh, which was the Delaware boot in Charles F. Stead's uh, Prairie Coloured Waxy Commander. So this is the second pair of boots that I'm getting. Uh, and uh, we'll go through the unboxing in a minute and then I'll take you through an on-feet tryout and go through my first impressions as I'm opening the box and uh, trying them on. So if you haven't seen the uh, video from last week, go back to my channel and have a look. And in the meantime, let's open this one. So here we go. Um, as I'd said in last week's, was it last week? Yes, I think it was. Uh, it depends on when I upload. As I said in last week's unboxing of um, Parkhurst's Delaware boot in that waxy commander, uh, Andrew usually ships out his boots in a combined uh, shipping box and boot box. This time they've come in a, their own boot box with a Parkhurst logo, a different colour from the previous one, which is just dark brown and no logo. Uh, and this is in that sort of beige colour with a, with a logo. Uh, and the label on it with a size 8. Uh, this one, uh, I'm going to reveal before I open it, is made in their Portuguese factory. Uh, and you can guess from that that this is their stitch down model. So let's open it up. Uh, usual thank you card from Andrew. Thank you for your support. Enjoy and wear well. Personally signed by Andrew. That's always a great touch. Uh, spare pair of flat wax cotton laces. I know they're spare because I can see the other pair in there. Um, but the boots are protected by a paper, and that's interesting. They don't come. They don't come with boot bags. Um, normally, Parker's boots always come with boot bags. But that is beautiful, and if only you had smell o vision, because you'd smell that Horween wax flesh, leather plus waxes, almost an edible kind of smell. Um, in Installed in the boots are leather laces. They're, they're sort of flat ones rather than square cut. Uh, that'll be interesting to put on. Yep, reasonably long, so um, they should be able to be fastened quite snugly. Right, so this is made in Portugal, based on a new last designed by Andrew called the uh, six. 1-8 last and the 1-8 refers back to his very first last which is the number 18 last which all Parkhurst lunatics <laughs> try and find um, because it's a lovely shaped um, almond toe without squishing your, your toes because even the, num the number 18 last and certainly I believe in this new 618 last and you can see um, my review of the sort of experimental development model. If you look up on the screen, there's a little link to it. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Um, you can see even from that that I felt it was really comfortable because it retained the snug heel, the um, firm handshake waist, and then it widened out at the ball of the feet where I often have a pain spot there. Before it, it gets into a slightly more tapered arm and toe, but with sufficient space that your toes don't actually feel squished in. Beautiful last. Uh, the uppers are in Horween's waxed flesh. This is brown waxed flesh, although I did notice uh, it talks about castano. So I'm not sure whether that's a color. It might be a Portuguese word for the color, I don't know. Uh, brass. Hardware, one, two, three, four, five, and three speed hooks. Very solid speed hooks. And just a word about wax flesh. It's actually a rough out. This is actually the same leather as you would know Chrome XL. And 
what it is is the Chrome Excel tanned leather. Let me just open up the laces a little bit. The Chrome Excel tanned leather in, I guess, natural before it's polished is flipped inside out so that the rough, scratchy bit is on the outside. Then the rough, scratchy bit, the nap, is heavily waxed. And you can see how shiny that wax is and how smooth. It almost looks like smooth grain leather. So that nap is heavily waxed in order to protect it. And the reason for this is, is um, that rough out is generally better at resisting scuffs and cuts and scratches than the smooth grain side of the leather, which can pick up scuffs and scratches quite easily. And that's because they have looser fibers in the nap which is difficult to cut into. And then you apply this thick layer of wax, which makes it even more impenetrable or almost impenetrable. Uh, famous versions of this is Java wax flesh out of uh, Truman, uh, cinnamon wax flesh used by whites. So this brown wax flesh has good predecessors. Just looking at the shape of it, uh, single boondocker style uh, backstay with a a uh, heel counter on, on the outside covered by this and um, from the feel of it, it's clearly a, a vegetable tanned um, leather heel counter. Plain toe and made out of Portugal, uh, double row stitch down. So a double row stitch down is different from a Goodyear welt in that the uppers and the front three quarters anyway is lasted and then the edges, instead of being curled in and sewn into the uh, welt on the inside, they're flanged out and sewn flat onto the uh, midsole. Uh, potentially there might be a welt there, but I, I, which would make it a welt shorn. But I think that's the midsole. So you can see that there is that brown leather flipped out and then you get the leather midsole. Uh, yeah, I can't guarantee that's not a welt, which would make this technically a felt shorn. Um, because it's either that or it's a double layer thickness uh, leather midsole. This part, uh, the, the, the flipped out uh, uppers only go up to the, to the, just under the heel, or just over the heel. And then the back part is glued and nailed uh, into uh, the, the, the sole construction and where if there is, if that is if that is a welt then there's a heel ran put up there to sort of equalize the heights uh, but I'm not sure I think this might be a thick double veg tan midsole uh, the heel itself has leather stacks I can see two there it's either two or one bloody big thick one and then a commando uh, outsole. And this is Parkhurst's proprietary commando outsole, which is, you know, I've, I've had these before and they're, they're perfectly fine, uh, reasonably grippy, quite hard though in, it, in the composition uh, and takes some getting used to when you're first walking in it. Uh, the, yeah, the tongue is just as thick as the, the uppers, I think. Um, let me see whether, I don't believe, oh yeah, it is lined. The vamp is actually lined with a black leather. The shaft is not lined, but it doesn't need to be because that's actually the grain side of Chrome Excel. You can see the uh, washered speed hooks and eyelets really secure, like really secure. Love them. Okay, take a look at the other boot. Let me undo the laces. Yep, same sort of striations on the inside. Um, there's a reinforcing leather patch on the collar and down the lace facings. Looking at the stitching, quadruple stitch here. Normally Parkhurst, I think, are triple stitch. This quadruple stitch is, is really nice. Uh, double stitch along 
here. Single stitch where it doesn't matter. This is, these are the stress points, obviously. And the stitching looks clean and neat. I don't see any problems with them. Nice and clean and neat and no, you know, no flaky ends. Uh, the stitching on the stitch down, one stitch goes through uh, the uppers and the midsole, and the second stitch goes through everything down to the down to the outsole. Oh, that's solid. That is a solid feeling boot. Lovely. The shape of the last, as you can see, well, if you if you if you're familiar with Parkhurst, you can see it is more of a tapered um, almond-shaped toe. Uh, and that's, I think that's just beautiful. Okay, stop admiring it. Um, <laughs> uh, let's get them on feet and see how I feel in them. So let's get these on. Ooh, that slipped in very nicely with a little funk as my heel went in. The um, Horween wax flesh feels fairly firm. But it's a new boot. I don't like the way that the factory uh, does the leather when they, does the uh, laces when they pack. <laughs> I'll do it my own way after the uh, filming. Um, that has a really good feel around my, my feet. Fairly stiff. For two reasons, I think the chunk of leather that you've got around there, and I think the actual uppers themselves are quite stiff. Tie up the other one. Uh, my immediate impression is a great deal of comfort. Uh, I do feel that these might need to be broken in, uh, broken in a fair bit because it feels firm, shall we say. The fit around my foot is, as per all Parker's lasts, really good. Uh, I feel the heel is locked in. I feel it quite um, snug around the waist. I just need to tighten that a bit more when I tie it up properly. There's plenty of room at the ball of my feet, so I don't feel squished. I often have a pain point there. I don't feel that. And despite the kind of longish tapered uh, toe there's plenty of room I don't feel my little toes being squashed in my big toe is about that far away from the edge which is the perfect sort of distance standing up in it uh, it has a firm feel at the bottom on the sole uh, I guess because I'm standing bang on a slab of leather uh, yes, it does feel like flexing. The practice of flexing will have to be practiced. Because <laughs> it's that slab of leather is resisting me flexing. Uh, underfoot, I haven't walked that far, <laughs> probably three feet. Um, but the shock absorption is reasonable, despite the, the um, hard commando sole. And because it's that uh, commando sole with the inboard lugs, I think from the side, you're not seeing too much of the commando lug, so it's not like a rough house outdoor boot. Although I guarantee this will be fantastic going outdoors and hiking for grip and um, just that leather. They look good. I'm looking straight down. Most people will look at an angle, but looking straight down, they look good because of that taper on the almond toe. Uh, oh, I just, the, the fit is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I like them probably my new favorite boot <laughs> we shall see so I, I will um, wear them around for a bit uh, because I've got two new pairs of Parkhurst boots 
It will take a while, but I'll bring you a full review after a couple of months or maybe even a bit longer, just so I can wear them both in uh, a little better while I'm also reviewing other boots and trying them out. But hey, these are good. Love them. Okay, let's uh, finish off this video. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little unboxing video of these uh, pair of Parkhurst boots in this gorgeous Horween uh, uh, wax flesh. Uh, I'm going to take them for a spin and then uh, bring them back to you in about a month's time with a full review. I, I do not foresee that I'm really going to even start to patina this wax flesh because it's so beautifully uh, coated with a thick layer of wax that it almost looks like it's full grain leather, despite it being a rough out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and the uh, on feet segment at least, and the uh, first impressions that you get from me. I will come back to you with a full review of these uh, that we can go through together. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to click on like and subscribe and uh, come back for more videos on these and other boots that I'm gonna be bringing to you. Until then, take care and I'll see you back here soon.